Learning of an anti-trans rally coming to the Missouri Capitol on Monday. The Missouri Kids First Rally is set for 2 p.m. inside the Capitol Rotunda. Organizers say the goal is to push lawmakers to stop the medical transitioning of children. And that rally comes as the LGBTQ community across the state fights back on a slew of proposed laws they say are life-threatening and downright hateful. News 4's David Emilotti is breaking down some of these bills tonight. David. There are more than a few dozen bills between the state house and the Senate and tonight we're hearing from two of the lawmakers pushing some of this legislation and we're one person who fears what Missouri will be like if lawmakers get their way. I do think um, as bills pass and as threats continue, we will see a rise in hate crimes against LGBT people. Ryan Mars Kinghammer is watching and is concerned about the more than two dozen bills between the Missouri House and Senate looking to regulate a variety of LGBTQ plus issues. They are sponsored by these 20 Republican lawmakers. Several work to establish the Missouri's Children Deserve Help Not Harm Act. If passed, it'll ban health care professionals from performing gender transition procedures on children under 18. Branson area representative Brad Hudson is behind one of those bills. He tells News 4 testimony in favor of the law came from an out of state resident. News 4 asked for an example of a Missourian concerned about this. He couldn't provide one. Are we going to wait until some Missouri kid comes out and says I had a double mastectomy as a teenager or I was put on uh, drugs that ruined or that, that, that altered my life forever that I should have never been put on? If we wait for a Missouri kid to come out and say this, we've waited too late. The Missouri Covenant Marriage Act is proposed in Mitch Boggs House Bill 732. The Mount Vernon Reps law creates a new marriage option only for a man and a woman. It requires eight hours of premarital counseling and 40 hours of marital counseling before a divorce. The bill also says a divorce can't be granted until at least two years after filing for separation. There are also bills focused on women's sports. House Bill 337 from Benny Cook from the Lebanon area mandates the sport a person can play is mandated by their sex at birth. I do not feel like this uh, piece of legislation um, is anti-LGBTQ+. Uh, plus. I don't believe that at all. It scares me about how uninformed these politicians actually are. Some bills target higher education. One would ban schools and colleges from requiring gender or sexual diversity training or counseling. David Emilotti, News 4.